I dropped out of high school in the second semester of the 10th grade and uh, thought that was uh, a cool thing to do. You know, as a young man uh, growing up in the housing projects um, full of poverty, hopelessness, and despair, what I saw primarily were street guys and street folks and who were kind of isolated from mainstream society. And I didn't have the ambition of being a doctor, lawyer, accountant, or school teacher of any profession because that's not what I saw. You know, once I got my GED, I didn't know what to do with it. In fact, I applied for the Army and the Army turned me down <laughs> because I had a record. So I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. So, you know, I had gotten a job at McDonald's. I said, okay, well maybe I'll just work my way up at McDonald's because I'm on probation, I get in any more trouble, I'm going to prison. And I had a cousin who I used to play basketball with and he had gone to Eastern Michigan University. And so he encouraged me, he said, well, uh, I can get you in the Eastern Michigan University if you are, are willing to go to college. And I blew it off. I'm like, yeah, right. I don't even, I just have a GED. College is for rich kids. I'm going to go to college. And he said, well, as you saw, I wasn't rich. I said, yeah, but you're real smart and you got scholarships, et cetera. I said, I didn't finish high school, so I'm going to get a scholarship. He said, well, I'll tell you what. If I get you in we'll, and get you the financial aid, will you go? I blew it. Oh, yeah, fine, I will. Uh huh. Once he got me in, uh, I then look to him toward um, some insight on how to get through college. And so he was my mentor. No one can just do it on their own without any direction or insight. And he was mine. So mentorship is very important. And I had one and he was mine. You know, poverty is misunderstood at many levels of society. Um, one, most folks in the middle and upper middle class of society don't understand the hopelessness and despair that it creates. And that's why they don't understand why, why people don't take advantage of the various programs that are made available to them. Well, they have a sense of hopelessness and a sense of despair because all their lives, that's all they see around them. And the people fit in to the culture that they live in. After my first year in college, when I went back to the housing projects I grew up in, I was singing the praises and trying to recruit some of the guys I used to run with uh, to get your GED and go to college, man. You can get financial aid just like my cousin that did me. The result of that conversation uh, was, a, um, uh, was a pistol whooping and robbing of everything I had on, including uh, my shoes. And so the reason I believe that was is because it's the same uh, mentality that many have. Uh, you stay with us. You're either one of us or you're one of them. I know that there's a lot of hopelessness and despair among people living in poverty. And the best advice I would give is to find your talent, first of all. God has given each and every one of us a talent. And so folks must recognize that. Once you find what you're good at, develop that skill. Once you develop that skill, you have to work hard and compete. When I was admitted to college, uh, everyone, my relatives, my aunt, who were proud of me to get in, see me getting in college, they said, well, you need to major in engineering. That's where the jobs are. All of the toughest courses in math and science were required to matriculate uh, in uh, uh, engineering or in business. So I failed miserably. I knew it wasn't working for me. I said, I've done the best I can, and I can't, um, I can't do the work in math and science, but I noticed. Uh, I was getting B's and even maybe an A or two in English and uh, liberal art courses. And so I said, well, let me go and uh, see what I can do in this area because clearly if it requires all this math and science to pursue these other careers, I'm pursuing the wrong career. And so I chose law. And once I changed over, I got like all A's and B's. I don't think I saw another C. And, of course, I uh, was 
prepared enough to uh, be accepted in the law school. So it was about finding the right uh, career and the courses that fit my skill level. I was doing my best ever since I left the penal institution and was uh, hitting a roadblock every step of the way. But then I'd win and hit a roadblock. Win, hit a roadblock. Win, hit a roadblock. I tell GD candidates and guys uh, who are incarcerated and seeking to take the GD, um, that first step gives you the confidence to the next step. And every step thereafter, you feel a, uh, a, a sense of achievement. Every step is incremental success that really carries you through your life.